What's going on, YouTube? It's Ali Dope, and I'm checking in once again with another dope tutorial. Yes, sir. And today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make any logo 3D very easy now granted it is a plugin that's involved but the process after you get the plugin is very very simple um it should take like five minutes like i said you can make a lot of money on this as well by posting this on fiverr or posting this on instagram as something that you can do quick fast to make some quick change but anyways before we hop into the computer don't forget to like subscribe and comment for the kid and the community so you don't miss another drop. I don't really want you to miss out on no heat when it's dropping. Now, thank you guys for your patience. As always, you know, this is an ever-growing community and we not stopping, we are gonna keep going. So my fault for inconsistencies the last couple of weeks, I thought I was gonna be able to drop the vlog last week, but the video's not out. We're doing some extra ads and marketing for this particular video because it's a bigger song for him. So we are gonna take our time with the release. But the vlog is already done, it's finished, and it's already uploaded. So it's whenever he drops the video is whenever we're going to drop that vlog. It should be within the next few weeks. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok so you guys can know what's going on and stay abreast of what I got going on other than YouTube. Sometimes it's hard to just sit down and make a YouTube video and tutorial. I'm always going to come back every week. We are dropping a video, something will drop, but it might not always be a tutorial or something like that. Like I said, we're in an ever changing, ever evolving community right now. I'm in New York, as you guys can see, this is different scenery, different change of pace. I'm getting my footing right. I'm getting my scheduling right and my new routine in a new city. I'm getting uh, comfortable. So you guys always with the patience, thank you. And then I'm just not on Instagram as well right now, just posting every day because I'm really not doing anything. It's like, I have, I have work to do. I have <laughs> edits to make. I have clients to talk to. I have trains to catch, budgets to catch. I can show you guys the cool stuff sometimes, but I can't show you all the stuff all the time. But without further ado, you guys, I appreciate the community, you guys. We about to hit 9K and we working on that course. The course is dropping either sometime this month or next month. I'm gonna make a solidified date within the next week. It just depends on my workload. So after we drop that, I'm still working on Create Tober. So you know, in October, we go crazy, like three videos a week. So I'm already planning for Create Tober. So that should be fun. Without further ado, let's hop in this computer and make these logos. Yes, sir. All right, so like I said, you're gonna create your new uh, composition and everything like that. So what you're gonna do for the new composition, you're gonna go ahead and start with a new solid. It doesn't really matter what color it is. I'm just gonna name this um, E3 or E3D just so I know that's the main main layer that we're gonna be using, where we're gonna put the element 3D effect on. After you have your element 3D layer, you should just have a solid layer right here. We're just gonna turn that off now. Now, the key to this effect is the actual illustration in the logo. So we're gonna open up Illustrator. I already have a logo that I already made for another client. So I just wanna hop in there and show you guys what it is. All right, you guys. So boom, here's my logo that I have that I made in Illustrator. Like I said, all the layers are right here, separated into different paths, whatever. I group the main layer together, the words, I just group those together. So that's all one layer. I have this as a different layer. So I wanted this to be yellow. I wanted that to be separate from the other, uh, besides the background. I know I wanted the background to be black. So I made the background black just so I have it in mind for reference. And then these, I really wanted like a gold type color. So I just made them red just so it stands out. Um, but yeah, whatever Illustrator document you guys have, whatever, you know, you got about three layers. So it's one, two, three for me. Um, if you wanted to do another one and be special and then make another letter, make another layer just for these letters right here, you could don't have to you could but i'm just going to keep it simple with just three layers but you can do this with as many layers as you need but the more layers the more complex and the bigger the file so with that being said we're just going to do this back layer here so we're going to do one two three layers we're going to go back to after effect and create a new solid 
We're gonna call this the back. You could duplicate it. I like just creating a new salad just so I know everything is right. We're gonna just name this the swoosh. And then you're gonna create one more layer, solid. We're just gonna name that the text. Cool, boom. You can turn those off now. And then for the back, it's simple really. After you have all your layers and you made your text or you already have your logo, make sure you have them as outlines. It can't copy and paste text, only uh, outlines and shapes. So we're just gonna go with the back here. Click on your item, we're gonna click on the back item. You can press Control C, which is what I'm doing. You could do Control C right there, copy it. And then you're just gonna paste that on the back here. That's the back. You're gonna turn that off. Turn on the swoosh now. You wanna click on your swoosh here, Control C, or edit copy, with whatever you need. And we're just gonna paste that. That's there now. Turn this off, turn on the text. Click on the text, Control C, edit copy, whatever you prefer. You're gonna go ahead and paste that on in there. Boom. All the letters, good money. All right, so that's really all you need from Illustrator. You can go ahead and just save it, whatever you need to do. I always prefer to save because you never know what might happen. So we're gonna have to save this real quick. All right, so Element 3D makes it real easy. You do have to pay for this program or you can get it out on the market somewhere, someplace. I don't know, maybe you turn it. I don't know, I'm just saying it's out there for the people. Like I said, you gotta get Element 3D somehow, some way. It'll make uh, your 3D experience a lot easier. Sometimes you don't have the time to be doing Blender and Cinema 4D. And sometimes the process is just a little bit more complicated to do simple tasks than you need. So I, met, I found this quick, easy workaround to make it easy to make any 3D logo. So boom, after you have your three logos, you have all your text here. So we'll turn off this real quick, just so we see what we got. We got the three booms, the three uh, items right here. Now what I would do is right here, I would definitely scale everything up. And I scale everything to like, just so everything is like scaled up already so you don't have to worry about that. But anyways, go back to Element 3D, go to Element 3D, go to Custom Layers, Custom Text and Layers, right? Boom, Path 1, Text, Path 2, Swoosh, Path 3, the back. So you should have three layers in there, one, two, three, boom. All right, we're just gonna go to scene setup. Now, after you have your scene setup right here, you should go ahead and um, extrude it. And it's only gonna extrude this one. How I'm moving it around to, I'm only pressing the space bar. You press the space bar, you can just move it around everywhere, in and out, using the um, using your scroll button on your mouse. But yeah, that's how I'm moving around. So when you first press extrude, it's just gonna extrude the first layer, as you can see here in this extrusion model the extrusion for path one right here. So you're gonna just press extrude one more time. And as you can see, you get a second extrusion and it should be like two of them now. So we're gonna zoom out. So now you can see two of them. Now you don't need two of the same thing, obviously. So you're just gonna go down here to custom path and you're gonna go to custom path two. And that's gonna give you the swoosh. And you just gonna kind of match it up how you had it in the um, in Illustrator pretty much like that, boom. Then you press extrude one more time. And as you can see, you're gonna get this main layer as the text one. And it's gonna go down here to custom path three. And this is that back layer that we had. Now, as you can see now, they're all there, the all three extrusions. Now, what you wanna do is if you don't already have them, already have, like I said, it's out there in the market, the pro shaders pack from Element 3D, shout out to them. Video Color Pilot really did teach me a lot. I'm just gonna jump on a couple of materials on top of the text, just so you guys can see where everything is in real time. Let's just do the plastic on the um, the red, which was the first one. So that one's pretty cool. Now we need to move it up a little bit using the blue. 
we're just gonna highlight this blue one if we can you select it and then move it up a little bit and you can also uh like i said you guys move around you can adjust the extrusion on this so if, if it's this is it you can do the bevel scale how wide it's gonna be like it could be really really small really really wide we don't need it that big like right here is cool you can see once again which one you're gonna click on which is the swoosh right here for the swoosh i did want like a gold i think so let's go ahead and drop the gold on that one that's pretty cool and then let's drop that black one now i'm just trying to get the right black for this you guys but like i said to get a better idea of the colors and stuff you can turn on your environment right here and then you can select your environment they have like a, a pack that comes with it um so i just wanted like an indoor outside city type of vibe so then and then that's how you can see what's going to reflect how it's going to reflect all that good stuff boom now the gold is reflecting really good the black is in eh. now for this i do want to adjust the black extrusion level so then as you can see it's already selected so then from there all i do is adjust the bevel boom and then move it up so then it's equal with the gold they got different bevels in here for you to choose from yo get out here get wicked you know what i'm saying they got ones out here for you to just pick and then drop on there look at that they got the double ones on there if i wanted to and that's by just going to physical um just like that they got all different types of colors this is the ones that come with it too you don't need the shaders if you don't want to choose them and then if i wanted to simply just change these colors right here so like click on extrusion click on that down arrow click on the shiny element and then you just find where the color is at reflectivity the illumination is yellow i want it to be red make sure it's red you want to do a red you want to do a darker red like that something like that cool and then with that you gotta also adjust the, the reflectivity boom all right boom like that i kind of like that silver around maybe the chrome not so much the chrome is cool though so say we like that chrome, if I want to switch this one, that clean metal one, I think they already had chrome in here. Yeah, so just drop chrome on there. So now it's kind of chromed out. Ooh, that's kind of looking cool. And then that black, and the black, you could just drop that black gloss on there. Back there. Maybe this one, you could just scale it down. Bring the scale down a little bit. Boom. Move it over. Move it down. Move it over. Move it up. And you kind of got this cool little logo here. Press OK. All right. And as you see, there you go. It's pretty. It's right there for you. And it's going to be on that Element 3D layer if you want. The world scale, make it a little bit bigger. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Adjust it as you may. And it got that environment on there, so it has that city structure, like I said, from before. Okay, yeah. So you're under here, go to particle look, go to multi object, enable multi object, right? And then you can go ahead and like adjust the whole z rotation of everything you know what i'm saying like x y z something like that so if i want to make an intro or something like that and spin it if i do that so like at four seconds see if i want to do that i press that keyframe right there where it's good or where it started at and then go back and then like now i'm stretching it out so now it comes in now it comes in. Right. Okay. So now that we have like the particles coming in and all that stuff, 
you want to go back to the end of the timeline and then you want to open up on a particle look click particle look you're going to click particle rotation right here and particle rotation for the the x or y axis up to you i'm going to go with the the y only because i want that spinning and i just want to do it a few times so like one rotation is 360 so at the end here we are going to create for the rotation at the end to create that spinning effect so now that we have the particles coming in like this boom boom we wanted to activate the spin so at the end we're going to just go ahead and click this rotation on the y boom right there just so it has that keyframe and ends up at zero when it hits this right here and it's starting to come together i want to go ahead and click number four I actually want to click three. So as it's about to come together, I'm going to click three right here. And then there you go. Now you got the spinning going on, right? With all the 3D elements, you see the whole 3D sides and everything. Now, now you're able now to see it's coming together. You can see all the reflections of the elements right there in the chrome of the city. It looks 3D. It's on the side here. Everything is perfectly fine and it just re comes together like that and then spins, right? And now it's coming off to the side a little bit like that. Like I said, if you want, you can go in here and find, like I said, that um, the layers, the world transform, that's gonna scale it. So then just scale it down a little bit and then just move it over if it's giving you problems. So it comes together, boom, right there. So yeah, that's what you pretty much got you guys. You can do this with pretty much any logo any text any idea man it's pretty simple it's pretty easy i hope i got it to you quickly and effectively so you can go ahead and just start making some 3d logos for some side money um but yeah i think it came together pretty cool okay guys and then lastly just to wrap it up just to export it because i feel like y'all was going to ask me about like oh how are you going to export it so i can sell it and, <laughs> and put different backgrounds and put it on it because this i actually use this for an intro for a motion flyer so like I said, you gotta get creative thing out the box. So anyways, you just gonna click this little transform layer. After you click the transform layer, you have like this background and just like the image by itself. Go to composition, add to render queue. You're gonna click high quality down here. Click format options, click animation, click okay. Click RGB plus the alpha, press okay. You're gonna go to your the output folder and then just press okay. Now, I hope that helped you in some way, shape or form and got your gears turning and your minds wandering. I hope that's gonna help you make some extra money and some extra income. I know it's helped me real quick, make some quick bucks cause you have a skill set and the, the programs that somebody doesn't have. So just always take that as a quick way to make a quick buck. You could charge like 30 bucks, 50 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Just for your time, your effort. If you wanna put it on sale, it's $30. But it takes you five minutes to make. So like I said, do with that as you will. You know what I'm saying? Holidays is coming up. People getting some money. Make sure some of that money is in your pocket. And until next time, you guys, keep learning, keep creating, keep hustling. Ali Dope, I'm checking out. Yes, sir.